Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Kitchen. Okay, so I saw another pasta video on YouTube from a YouTube channel called Twisted. And so this pasta recipe looked very interesting, very good, very delicious, that I had to try this for myself. So today, I'm going to try to recreate pizza, pizza, pasta, bake. That's a tongue twister, so let's try that again. Pizza, pasta, bake. For this, I have the following ingredients. Tomato sauce. Three cloves of garlic. Pepperoni, which will be chopped up into our sauce. Spices, salt, pepper, and oregano. Penne pasta. Balls of fresh mozzarella. And more pepperoni on top. All right. Let me put you guys down. And now we can get started. Okay. Now, first, I'm going to work on our garlic. Crush the shell off. And these are going to be diced. Some of you may be asking why I'm not using the extra sauce from that I had from my Chicago style deep dish, which I still do have, but that one has onion in it. So I made a decision from now on that if I'm going to try a recipe, I'm going to try it without onion first. Because you guys already know why. So. Garlic. Alright, good. to the side there. Now, now our pepperoni. We want to chop these up too. Truth be told, we can, I can really actually slice them in half and they'll be fine. So I like that cut. Remember, these are going to, this is going to go into, into our sauce and it's going to be cooked into the sauce. Ah, I was going to tell you, but that beat me to it. <laughs> that was my oven that has been heated to 360 degrees. Okay, I currently have water boiling, about to come to a boil, and I'm going to start our, cooking our sauce. So, come with me, you guys. Good. Perfect. Okay, so right now we're waiting for our water to come to a boil and we're waiting for this pan to heat up. That should do it. All right, folks, our 
pan is actually ready. So I'm gonna do that, treat that a little bit, put some oil into our pan. I should mention to you, I totally forgot during the ingredient runoff, I also have Parmesan cheese for this dish. Okay. So, first to our oil, we're going to add our garlic. Water is, about, is coming to a rolling boil right now. <clears throat> okay, so you know what? I'm gonna break open our pasta and we're gonna add that to add that to the water. Yeah. Timer. We're entering a time of 10 minutes for our pasta. Okay. Yes. Okay. Start the timer. Now, for our sauce, we're going to add our pep chopped pepperoni. Now, we add both cans of tomato sauce. Get the pepperoni and that garlic into our sauce. Okay, so now to our sauce, we want to season it with some salt. Cracked pep ground pepper. And oregano. Mix that all in. Now, while the pasta is cooking for seven minutes, Seven more minutes to be exact. We're gonna leave us the cup the cover on the sauce. And now 
we can start another step that we have to do. Okay, so that's going to continue to cook, so you guys come back with me. This was the forgotten ingredient that I've forgotten to tell you about. That was the Parmesan. All right, let me get out my strainer. Okay. Now we want to slice up our pepperoni, uh, slice up our mozzarella balls. Excuse me, folks. Okay. There you go. Let's see. Thin slices. So what's going to happen is we're going to have two layers of pasta. Each layer will have mozzarella on them. Two layers, maybe it'll be more, who knows, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, it's probably gonna be two layers. Let me get the other one. With four minutes left on our, about four minutes left on the pasta. <laughs> All right, so I guess once you already open one, then there you go. Ah, there we are. Yeah, it's open now. Yeah, here we are. That took a bit. Yeah, let's do it this way. Just like the last one, thin slices. Because they're going to be layered and baked on top. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we currently have two minutes, 50 seconds with our, for our pasta. I'm going to clean off this knife. Okay, so what's gonna happen once our pasta is done? We, we're gonna drain it. We're gonna take our pasta and add it to our sauce. Sprinkle in some Parmesan cheese and mix it all together. Afterwards, that's when we're gonna put, take our pot that we cooked the pasta in and put layers of the pasta back in with some mozzarella and some pepperoni. 
in about one minute, 53 seconds. All right, guys, we're about 25 seconds away from pulling, from our training of our pasta. I have here a cork, which is going to hold, hold our, our hot pot right here in about 10 seconds. The sauce is still going, so let's go get our pasta. Okay, hit that, shut that off. I'm gonna drain it now. Okay, great. So now that our pasta has been fully drained, I didn't need to save the pasta water for this one, in case you were wondering. Okay, so now you guys are going to come back with me back to our... Um, to our stove. That sauce is going, but I'm gonna shut that off before I add my pasta to the sauce. I'd really like to taste it for any kind of seasoning. Ooh. Mm -mm. No, it needs more salt. It definitely needs more salt. Hopefully that will make it better. Mm. The salt is fine. You know what? I'm going to add more pepper and oregano to this. And then we'll try it again. Okay, let's give this one more try. Better. Better. Okay. So, take our pasta and a pair of tongs. Oh, I 
almost get to forget it. At this point in time, with the pasta the way it is, Parmesan cheese on top, on, in the pasta. Almost there. That should be enough. Yeah. Okay, now I can mix this up. Good, there you go. All right. Now, I just realized I'm gonna need a second cork. That looks good right there. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Pasta. Come here. You guys, come here. Doki. So now I'm gonna take some pasta into our pot. Oh, yeah, that was a mess. Hmm. You wanna flatten it out so there's a whole light, there's a whole floor of pasta. There that goes. A little bit more. Yeah, it's going to be two layers. Cool. That's one layer right there. Now, with this one layer, we're going to take a handful of our mozzarella, one of our mozzarella balls, and around the pot, the inside, on the edge of the pasta. One in the middle and one right there. Looks perfect. Now, before I continue, let me show you what I just did. Now, As Emeril Lagasse would say, let's kick it up a little bit. Oh, let's kick it up a notch. We're going to add a layer of pepperoni onto the first layer. Put a slice of pepperoni on each piece of mozzarella. Now, we're gonna take the more of our pasta. Take the rest of our pasta, I should say. 
and put a layer on top. Spread it out. Good. And repeat the same process. And one more layer of pepperoni on top. Come here, guys. Let me show you what it looks like before we send it into our oven. This is our pizza pasta bake. At least it will be. So now, let me put you guys down one more time. This is heading into our oven, which is heated at 360 degrees for 20 minutes. All right, guys, when it's done, we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, we are now 50 seconds away from our pizza pasta bake being pulled out of the oven. So let me put you guys down. Cork is right here. Oven mitts. Twenty seconds. I gotta tell you, I'm kind of excited about this. This looked really good on the video, so we'll see how it comes out. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Turning off the oven. Come here. All right, guys, wow, this looks amazing. Take a look at our, piece, at our pizza pasta bake. Mozzarella is melted on top. Pepperoni melted into the mozzarella. That looks really cool. Okay, guys, I'm gonna scoop some of this onto a plate and I will try it at my dinner table. All right, guys, so I scooped out a portion for myself, and I have it right in front of me. So, take a look at our pizza pasta bake. I can say it now. <laughs> wow. All right, put you guys down. I'm looking right over here, you, this piece right here. Good. 
good cheese. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. The mozzarella is creamy. Pepperoni gives it a little zing to it. I, I was almost, I was a little scared because I wondered if the the pasta would be dried up in the in the oven, but it wasn't. The flavors of the sauce and the cheese fuse nicely with the pasta. Mmm. That is delicious. Wow. Great job to to the YouTube channel Tasty for this incredible recipe. All right, guys, this was our pizza pasta bake. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below. Until next time, this is Jeremy saying, Bon Appetit!